Yo, what is up, my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy, JC Desmond. Welcome to Love Over Narcissism. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about uh, why going no contact is a victory over the narcissist. So whenever you get a chance, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the necessary things that you can to support a YouTube channel such as this one. You can even press that dislike button, but make sure you press it twice. Haha. <laughs> so let's get right into it. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are, you know, in the beginning phases, they feel terrible about going no contact. Um, but I assure you, it's absolutely the most important thing to do in order to pretty much it's the only true weapon you have against the narcissist, right? And when you go no contact in the beginning phase you have to you know you have to grieve and you have to kind of detox the poison out of your system because essentially what's going on is that you have been addicted to something that is detrimental to your well-being to your mental health to your emotional health um and which is the narcissist because you know you, you weren't in love with the narcissist. You thought you were in love, but what you were in love with was a fake identity. And so now that you know all this and you have the knowledge and you decided to go no contact, the feelings didn't just go away. Like you didn't just feel like, oh, yeah, you know, now that I've gone no contact, everything is smooth sailing. Most of you are pretty heartbroken. And so take this time to start focusing on healing, Right. You have to start embracing the feelings right now, um, kind of be in it. If you're angry, feel the anger. If you're heartbroken, you're sad, feel it, okay? Because if you if you like push it under the rug or you bottle it, bottle it in, you're, you're not really going to heal because you're just going to be holding on to it until, you know, it blows up one day and you just, you know... L- l- let out this rage you don't want to do that right so you want to get rid of it you want to vent the intense emotion out of your system now narcissists when they leave a relationship they jump from one supply to another and by supply it's not necessarily a romantic partner though most of the time it is but uh what you got to understand about the narcissist is they're not, it's not always smooth sailing after the discard. They're not just like, oh, hey, you know, you know, I discarded you and everything or you want no contact and they're just like, oh, life is peachy. You got to understand life is never really good for the narcissist because they're, they're going over and over again, replaying the same bullshit that they've been playing since they were like, in their early 20s, you know, relationship-wise, and uh, the same narrative plays over and over in, in their head that it has been playing since they were a child when they decided to abandon their true selves and create this false identity in order to convince them that they're, you know, that they're better, right? So I want you to get out of your head that the narcissist is winning because the narcissist never truly wins anything. What they're doing is they're just faking it. You know, like they say, fake it till you make it. Well, narcissists fake it, but they never make it. They just keep faking it for the rest of their lives. They keep faking it. So the reason why I say take that victory over the narcissist and why no contact is a win over the narcissist is because when you go no contact... The game is over. You you effectively cut off any power supply that you have been giving to them. You know, you cut off that power supply. They're not they're no longer gaining any fuel from you. And I spoke with uh I spoke with somebody earlier this week who told me that uh you know, her ex-narcissist called her, her narcissistic ex had called her and that she can kind of like she can tell that he had kind of like a smug tone about him. And she could even see the grin even through the phone call when he said to her, oh, why aren't you talking to me? So we had a little discussion. 
And she said, oh, you know, that she's read or she's seen in, uh, in, in other channels or she's read that the narcissist knows that you're pining for them or anything like this. And let me kind of clear the air about that, about how the narcissist knows that you're thinking about them or the narcissist. The narcissist knows as much as any other human being because the narcissist is not a sorcerer or some kind of a psychic that could read minds, okay? So the narcissist doesn't know shit. The narcissist is just playing something in their head to convince themselves of whatever. So when you're no contact and the narcissist is telling people, oh, this person misses me, this person spies on me, don't take any of that shit seriously because the narcissist has to say this stuff in order to convince himself or herself or whatever. Okay? Because the truth is, they truly know that once you cut them off, you know, the game is over. So they start panicking. What do they do? They start going into the smear campaigns. Uh, they start looking for new sources of supply. They start doing things to try to hurt you even more. And honestly, when a person is winning, do they really feel the need to go all out in order to hurt the other person? No, not at all. If you feel like you're, you're ahead and you're winning... You don't even need to try. So I want you guys to understand that when you go no contact, that is a victory over the narcissist. Because when you go no contact, you are working on yourself. No contact is for you. It's not for them. All right? And we have to stop asking the questions, what is the narcissist thinking when we are in no contact? Who gives a shit what the narcissist is thinking? What you're thinking is that you should be focused on healing. Then you should be focused on some goals. Focus on your passions. Fixing yourself and becoming a better, stronger version. Focus on your freedom. Focus on your mental well-being and having fun again. Focus on loving yourself and focus on loving other people. Don't be focused too much on revenge as I was, because I was focused on revenge, and Lord knows I got my revenge, but in hindsight, it, I could have just kind of, you know, sped up the process of healing had I just focused more on myself rather than focusing on revenge. Now, granted, the revenge I got was starting the channel, helping, trying to help you guys, and in, and in you know, you know, you guys have helped me just as much. Um, but still, you know, my mind was in the beginning, my mind was in a different place. Okay. So you got to focus on healing. You got to focus on yourself. You got to focus on moving forward. Because the truth is, you absolutely can. And the narcissist cannot. So when the narcissist sees you kicking ass in life and doing good, the narcissist is going to hate you. The narcissist will get jealous. The narcissist will complain and feel like life just isn't fair. The narcissist might go online and start posting things about how um, life isn't fair and that people are just not real enough for them and that's why they had to cut certain people off. They might even post things about narcissism and trying to... You never mind about all that. You do what you do because it's your time now. Take this victory. You won. You have defeated the narcissist the moment you cut off the supply. And while the narcissist has to do all these things to try to feel like they've won, they know deep down inside they truly haven't won anything. Guess what you have to do in order to feel like you've won? And seriously, when and I want you guys to really think about this. Guess what you have to do in order to truly win against a narcissist once you've gone no contact. Ready for the answer? Absolutely nothing. And that's the beauty of it. You've already won. Your life and your happiness is a testament to your victory over the narcissist who cannot feel happiness, nor love, nor any real peace in their life or any freedom. They are stuck in a place that... You are lucky to not be stuck in. Now is your time to break free 
from the cognitive dissonance, break free from the heartbreak, focus on yourself, get to it. I believe in you guys. You have this. And I just want to say to you, congratulations. You've won. Remember, guys, to love yourself, respect yourself. I love you all. And thank you guys for supporting this channel. We are growing very fast. Um, thank you so much. Love over narcissism, baby. I'll talk to you guys soon.